I want to thank everybody for letting the ads run and supporting me in my channel. It, it really helps and I appreciate it. Um, with that said, this is one of my favorite ZZ Top songs. Um, I've written it out. It's in standard tuning. My notes will be below there. I believe Billy's playing a Strat, so I got my Strat out and I have the pickup selector one up from the bottom, so I'm using these two pickups. It gives it that fender quack. Um, I am going through my Marshall, so, you know, it's not real, real distorted, just got a little hair on it. And, and the song is definitely funky. Um, there's some spots where Billy doesn't even, it's a lot of pinky rock. We're going to be stretching a bit. Um, but with that said, Billy's definitely got his funk on for this. So we'll go over all the parts. The solo's not real difficult. It's just a great blues lesson. Um, it's really kind of in the mix. Um, I had to kind of pull it out of the, the middle channel by, you know, using Riff Station and narrowing it down. So that really helped, but it really came together. So we'll go over all the parts. Some real key elements, and I'll go over that, that'll really help you play this rhythm. Um, so to start out with, we're in the first position. We're going to hit the fourth string and then come to at the second fret, then come to the third fret of the sixth string with a little bend and release and pull off twice back to the second fret of the fourth string. It's, it's very quick. All right. Then he jumps up to an E power chord. All right. So what he does to start out with is hit 9, I'm going to be speaking to the 4th string, so we can talk 11 with our pinky back to 9. That's, we're going to hit 9 to 11, slight pause, and then two more 9s, and then one 11. Alright, at that point we're going to move up to an A. At this point, this will be the 5th string at 7, I'll be talking about 9. All right, so what we're going to do is hit with a slight pause in between. Or I'm not in between, but before we start into it. It's just slight, but it sets the rhythm. So then you're ready to hit seven and then add your pinky with nine. And there's a little chuck and then seven or D up to E. So seven and five up to uh, seven and nine. Alright, so, all together slowly, one, two, three, four. Now we start in the rhythm, okay? This rhythm's pretty consistent, at least for the E power chord. When we hit the E twice, then our 11 back to one and then two more on the nine so a total of three and back to eleven all right then we're going to go up to a g slide in to our a and we'll hit the nine just once and the seven without our pinky on three times before we do a little chaka and a D chord. Alright, so it'll sound like this. So it's 
just a down and then up on the D chord. And then we're back. difficult just as it's, long as you remember once you reach the nine you're changing chords um, that'll give you an idea of the timing again once we reach the, the it's 11 I'm sorry once we reach 11 the second time we're gonna move all right So, that is the intro. We're going to do that one time through. So, the E to the A, another E, another A. The second A, you will hear a little lick. I've written the lick out. Um, I'll go over it now. I've got it towards the end of the tab, right around the solo. But what we're doing is this. <laughs> So we're going to bend up the third string at the fourth fret and release it, pulling off to two, to coming to four and two on the uh, fourth string, and then landing on two on the third. Okay, it's a real quick lick. It's just overdubbed. If you don't play it, that's fine. But there it is, and then we're into the first verse. All right, we basically know the verse, there's four measures to it, and um, it's just like the last measure of the intro. So I'm going to play the first verse measure. The second and third are slightly different. I'll talk about the differences, and I've noted them in the tab. <laughs> So that's measure one. Measure two, very similar. We're going to do the E, the A. We'll come back to the E. The second time we come to the A, he just holds it. He doesn't add his pinky. That's, again, it's the funk part of this song. So in the second measure, it'll sound like this. I'll do the first half normal, the second half just holding the A. Okay. Third measure, he's going to hold that A both times. So third measure. Alright, so the fourth measure of the verse, I forgot to mention this. The first half's the same. We'll do the A with the pinky this time. Then we go to our E. Then we're going to go to a different, our, our A at the first position and do a little walk up that leads us into the chorus. All right. So the last measure will sound like this. Alright, that's the chorus there. So the only difference after our E and our pinky, we're going to hit an A power chord, and then the open A to the second fret of that fifth string, back to the open and third fret, and then open and fourth fret. At that point, we're going to slide from our C to D. This starts the chorus. All right, so the very fourth measure with the A and the walk up slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, then we're into the chorus. Chorus 
is beautifully constructed. We've got really two slides, C to D and our known G to A. The difference is we're going to stretch our pinky a little bit further than just on the A from the 9th. We're going to go from the 10th fret also back to 9. Same with the D. We'll go to 9, 10, back to 9. So the chorus, let me play through the first measure of it. Okay, so if you notice, when I get back to the second 9 from 10, I'm switching again. So that's real consistent. see in the chorus we will do the E three times with the A between each one all right the very last one which leads us out will be the A to a turnaround <laughs> So we'll go over that, but let me play through the chorus up to that point. So what we're doing, after we hit that very last A, the third time, again landing on that 9 with our pinky, we come into this walk down. And what we're doing there is, it's basically a G walk down. We're going to be on the 4th string at the 5th fret, open 3rd string. And our first finger will stay at the third fret of the second string. We're just going to move our from our middle finger at the fifth string to the fourth string, hitting three and two after. So it'll sound like this. All right. At that point, we move up to the first position here, and we're going to pull down on that three with the release to open and hit. A slight A power chord, just the two on the second fret of the fourth and third string. Alright, so that kind of ends it. And the very next lick is like a lead in to the verse. Alright, and it's similar to what we did in the intro. We're not going to hit the three twice, we're going to hit it once. Alright, so that walk down. Then we're back into it. Alright, so there is, that was the chorus, a little post chorus, I'm calling it a tag, because it's basically the rhythm of the verse to lead us into it. He doesn't sing during this time and that lick repeats. Alright, so this tag will sound like this. Alright, then we're into verse 2. Verse 2 is much shorter. It's only Two measures long, so we've got three of the A's before we move up to the first position. So I'll play verse two for you because it's it's fairly fast and you know these parts. Chorus 2. 
So like, a, like you could see, verse 2 is just shortened by two measures, and it's in my notes. So we're in the chorus to the same exact... Alright, when we do that, um, we're going to do our... And we're back into the rhythm, which would be the verse, but it's actually the solo rhythm. So the, the verse rhythm is the same as the solo. Alright, it's two measures long just like the second verse because it ends when Billy's doing some double steps. When he's doing that, you're doing... And you're into chorus three, okay? So the solo rhythm is really the exact same as verse 2. Alright, so for the third chorus, which is our outro, we're going to do our basic E to A. We'll do that three times. After the last A, we do our walk down just like we would normally. But we stop after that A. Repeat the walk down one more time with that pull down to A. Then the last walk down ends a little different. It'll be this. Alright, so we're walking down. Then we take the third string with a bend, release, and pull off to uh, two. Ending on four on the fourth string, and then an A power chord that's held to end. Alright, so that is the outro. So we got the solo to go over and you'll have the whole song. This lick happens mostly over the A minor pentatonic. I'm going to show it to you in pieces and then we'll go over each one. It's really the way I wrote it out, three measures long with a great ending. Um, so what we're going to start out with is sliding up to 9 on the 3rd string. Alright, so this first like we're going to slide up to 9, 3rd string, then come back to 7-5 with a little vibrato. Then we're going to hit 7 to 9, or I'm sorry, 5 to 7 with a slight bend catching five on the second, quickly to second on the third. Back to seven, then five with a slight bend, and landing on seven on the fourth string, quickly. So all together, slowly, one, two, three, four. there we're going to take off from 5 on the 4th string to jump to the 5 to the 2nd string and then we'll go to 7, 5 to 7 twice so we got this so far back to 5 then we jump to the 3rd string, 5 hammer down to 6 real quickly catching 7 jumping to the 1st string at 5 Slight vibrato there, all right? So this next lick will sound like this, slowly. One, two, three, four. Then we end this first measure. Real cool blues lick. What we're doing is hitting eight, coming quickly. That's on the second string. Coming quickly to 7 on the 3rd with a bend to 5 on the 2nd and 5 on the 3rd with some vibrato. Really great blues move that you can do when you're playing slowly. Just sounds great. Okay, that's the first measure. The next measure is going to take us to the 3rd position for a second. All right. It'll sound like this. But I'm going to come off from that five on the third so you can see where we go from there. All right, 
So what we're doing after that five vibrato, we're grabbing seven on the first, the fifth string to five seven on the fourth. Coming back to the fifth string from five sliding to three, ending on five on the sixth. All right. So we have this. Just we'll just well, I'll start from that five. to the first position. We're going to do this like Alright, what we're going to do with the third string, hit two, then again hit the second fret and pull off to open, landing on two on the fourth. Open third, second of the fourth string pulled off to open, and then three to four on the five. Two on the third string with some vibrato. So all together slowly. One, two, three, four. All right. So there's really two licks at the last measure of the solo. The first one will go like this. So what we're doing, open 6th string to the 2nd fret of the 4th string, coming back to 3, hammered on to 4 on the 6th, back to 2 on the 4. Then we're going to hit open 6 and slide 3 to 4 before we hit an A power chord. Alright, so we have this all together, slowly, 1, 2, 3, 4. slide up to the 11th fret on the 4th string, catching 10 on the 2nd. We'll move that down a full step, so it'll be 9 and 8, and then we'll move that another step, but it'll be 7 and 7, both on the 4th and 2nd string. <laughs> Follow it up, we're going to slide up to 12 now on the 4th string while catching the 2nd um, string still at 10. So we have this all together. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's the end of the solo. Really well constructed. Again, a little buried in the mix, but if you want, just play along with A minor and catch some of those licks, but um, add them to your blues pocket because it's really a great lesson in style, substance, string skipping, and playing with feeling. So I really hope this helps everybody. It was a joy to do, and we'll see you next time.